Let me know if you're there. A uh, really nice gap today in uh, something good. Uh, can you see the charts? I think something screwed up with my hot com again. It's too late to fix it now. Can you see the charts or not? <laughs> I have a place coming to pick up my fancy rug, um, and they're going to call me 30 minutes before they're here, so if the phone rings, I have to just tell the guy, yeah, okay, whatever. He didn't even call me yet, so he's not going to be here while we're trading. <laughs> but in case the phone rings. Um, as far as this goes, or if the concierge calls me, I have to get it. As far as this goes, it's great, it's good, it's lovely, it's wild. I kind of forgot how wild this is, but I just got reminded this morning. Uh, wanted this to hold 43, then it flew over 43. I mean, it's a great gap though. <laughs> it's a really good gap. Uh, so I think we just stick to this. I said I really would love to get a fabulous short today. So we got it, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna be wild. And the market's wild too, so much volatility. So we're probably gonna rally today even though we fell hard yesterday. And this is volatility. It's here to stay for 2018. I don't think it's going away. It doesn't mean you do anything differently unless you can't stand it. You take quick profits when you're up, which Chris did in the option trade, and I don't know if anyone else did. But again, this could flip around today and be positive if you held on to it. If you killed it, you killed it. So, you know, market is very volatile right now. Overall, the trend is up. We talked and talked and talked about this. Um, you know, it is what it is. It makes for good profits, though, when you're trading, if you know what to do. So let's just focus on what we know. <laughs> um, something screwed up with my hot com. I'll fix it later. What is the other thing somebody put in the room here? I didn't look at everybody's picks today because I did like SIG before I opened the room. ARI. Trend traders asking about that. We can go look at this if SIG doesn't work. I don't like this as much as SIG. Barry saying SILC. No. Uh, all right, let's just watch this SIG. I, I, I have no clue what the spread's going to be in this, though, honestly. What is today? Change calendar. March 15th. Or March 14th. Tomorrow is the 15th. This month is flying by. All right, let's figure a 30 cent spread. It's big, but the stock can rock and roll. I said 38 today. I haven't changed my mind about that, even though it's rallied. Good luck, everyone. G work. Did anybody? do that. I hope you guys did. G helped us out yesterday for those of you that stayed. is going to have a big spread. Oh, I just, I don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to price it in big. So just be aware of that. So that's probably going to be a 70 cents or a dollar. Let's just wait. Not jumping the gun today. Did that yesterday in QCOM. I don't know why I did that. All right. Marcus 
going to rally today. It's like, it was like 100% predictable that the market would rally today. I saw the way we fell and I'm like, oh, I'm sure we'll be up tomorrow morning. It's like crazy town. All right. Okay, I'm not jumping into anything here unless it looks amazing. It's not earning season and we have to be so careful. We have to trade like angels. So All right. If this sets up, this is even going to be a bigger stop than I thought. 4425 Let's do 84 by 25. That is way bigger than I thought. Oh, crap. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. There, it just went. It just went. I literally called it and barely set myself up. There, it's going. Did anybody get it? I did not get it. And it was just, it was a bigger stop than I had uh, situated myself for. Here, it's going to go. It's going to go. If you're in it, I called a great trade. I didn't get it in time. There. It's going. Oh, wow. I did not, I figured a dollar. No, it was here. There, it's going. 42 is the first target. I'm going to look for a second setup in it. If you're in it, you're in it. Got to watch it. 42 if you're in it. I called a nice straight. I didn't get it. Just just went too fast. And it was bigger than I thought. Here, 42, 42. It should go right down there. Did anybody get it? I hope somebody got it. I called a great call. Here, it's going right there. It's going to go right there. All right, let's see if I can get a second trade in this here. That was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Here, 42, 42. It's going to break 42. It's going to break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. But I have your hand there. There it goes. Man, I called a great trade. Ah! And I'm not in it. Damn it. Here, there you go. Merry Christmas to all of you because I didn't get it. And you better be out of that more that trade. If you just did that, you got to be out of it because the stop was way too big. And I just didn't anticipate that. <laughs> I could have just oversized myself, but you never know. You just never know, and so I just didn't oversize myself. All right, so 38 looks likely. Let's wait for a setup. I mean, obviously, if you're in it, you're in it. So what time does the market hold? Where does it hold early? That's all that I know. But it doesn't matter for this. This was a really nice gap. We'll go over when we're done. If you did that call, I'd be out. If you did it, I'd be out of at least half. It's going to continue to go, and I hope I can get this trade. If I can't, I can't, but I really saw it. Oh, Gyro did it, and he's out. Wow. Really, we should have just taken it here as it was going, but you never know with these things. It was so wild in the pre-market. It was so wild in the pre-market. It ran up like $2. Did anybody get in and get out with profit? Whoa, see, was that real? No, I don't think it was. 45, no, that wasn't. All right, here, let's pay attention. Let's see if we can find a way in. Stop's gonna be 43.25, let's do 85 by 25, but I don't know if we can get anything better than that or not. 85 by 25 if it hits, SIG, just to get something here. Here, take it if you want it. There, there. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Get the stop in. Get the stop in. Here, here. Here, 41. Here, maybe we should just scalp out of this. No, 64. Let's try to watch it down at 61. Make sure the stop is in. It's 43.25. And if you don't know what I'm doing, then you can't do the trade. Here, let's try to get this down to 41. Man, every stop in this was big. But I really was not thinking that. I mean, I thought big, but not Jimungo. Here, sig, 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 sig. Sig down to 41. If you did the second trade, if you're in the first trade, great. If you did it and got out, fine. Here, 41. 40. 40 is probably going to happen today. 38 was a dream target, but 40, 40. I mean, I don't know. Here, here, sig. The stops in this are just so big, you don't want to hold the whole thing down. And we did do the second one late. Let's look at the market very quickly. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Boop. Here, all right, hand of the button for SIG if you did any of the trains one or two. Here, at least we got something. Yay. Crap, I didn't look at 4150. What was the other number I wrote in the room? Can't look at my notes now. Here, SIG. Here. 
Excellent. Eee! There it goes! There it goes! Here, I'm out, I'm out. I don't, I don't want to hold it all the way down. That was a late trade. Yay, yay, yay. Beautiful. Congratulations, everyone. If you did the first one, the second one, whatever. If you want to hold this down, great. I think it's going to bounce somewhere in here. And really, I took that kind of late, and I just kind of just, you know, eyeballed it to find a way in. Here, shake if you're still in it. 41. Did you get the second one, Steve? You had time to get the second one. You had time to get the one I did. Here, Frisco in and out quick. Jasmine, I just saw you signed in. You missed the whole trade. You got to be here by the open. You got to be here by 930. Gyro did it twice. Gyro is having a massive day. Gyro. Here, Sig, trying to get through the low. But, I mean, if you did that second trade, it was a very late entry. And it probably sets up again. But do we really know for sure? Let's look at the market. Trickery, 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 doc. Here. Let's look at everything else. Let's look at the stuff that tells us what's going on. Apple. Amazon. Strong as a brick. Netflix. Oh my god, a cute market opens down amid fears of the world. Here, let me I just get these breaking news alerts now. Let me just read what it says. They're hilarious. The market's falling, the market's rallying, the market's up, the market's down. <laughs> Let's look at Netflix. Not much to read here. Uh, Frisco did both. Wow, here. Let's watch a little, although the chances of me doing another one are absolutely zero. So. <laughs> but if you're still in it, it looks good. Dow opens 100 points higher as Wall Street shrugs off trade war fears. Okay. Thank you, breaking news. All right, what do you want to do here, people? Because I don't think I want to do anything else. If you're in the second trade of the first trade, it's trying to get to 41. I took it. That was fine. This looks good here. I don't see another setup right now. Luckily, I mean, this just was really big stops today, but it is what it is. This can have big moves. 40 is probably very likely for this today if it breaks 41, which it probably does. 38 would be the dream target, and that could happen too. But will that happen by 10 o'clock? I can't tell you that for sure. I can't tell you that at all. Um, but it definitely is lower. We could have jumped the gun on this today. I didn't jump the gun on this because I jumped the gun in QCOM yesterday. And I was like, I'm just going to be patient today. Here, 41.17, close enough, close enough to the first target after a late entry. Lucky we got it at all. Any questions? I'm still watching this, but I really think everyone should be out of the whole trade, the second trade, half the trade, more than half the trade. Here it goes. It's going to try to break through the low. Sig. Is anyone still in it? Any piece of it at all? Here it goes. It's going to do it. It's going to do it now. Here it goes. It's going to go right now. Here it goes. Steve, did you do it at all? Dubad's is still in it. Swinging for the fences. Nice trade. Let's just see. It didn't break though. Well, two pennies. All right. What do you want to talk about and what do you want to do? I think we should hold today, but I don't know where and I don't know when and I don't know what time and all of this is volatility for the market. But I will tell you one thing. If Something, something meaning any one of these things here, the Qs, the SPY, the Dow index, if any one of these runs red for the next one hour, 
people will start to panic. Is anyone in any option trades you want to talk about? Is anything anyone want to talk about at all? I have a feeling I'm going to be called to be on TV today now looking at the market. And I'm not doing any more trades. Does anyone want to go over anything? If you did G, it worked, it was great, helped with yesterday. Jump the gun in QCOM, wish I would have jumped the gun today and whatchamacallit, but whatever. The SPY, if you're still in it, it's definitely down 50%. Um, you're, if you're in the one out to the 29th, not the 16th, I'm assuming. If you're out, if you're in the one for the 16th, I would be out. If you're in the one for the 29th, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, because whenever we do flip around, we're going to be just, we're going to really go strong. So, I mean, I don't know when that is. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to say. I thought of this in the middle of the night last night. Um, but Facebook, let's look at, I haven't looked at that this morning. Again, if you're into the 29th, you're fine with any of the market trades. Gyro, is Gyro still on Netflix too? Tango Bravo, congratulations. Is that the bigger, the biggest day you've ever had? $1.27 profit? Facebook, I, to be honest with you, I don't like. So if you want to kill the Facebook, you have, you can, you can kill it. I don't like this here. It's going to set up again. It's going to take longer than I thought. It will go. I don't know when now. This is, uh, you could kill it. I don't, I don't like it here now. It doesn't, it's not doing anything I wanted to be doing. And I don't think this makes it in time now. So if you're, if you can save some money in this, kill it, kill it. I'll call it again. It's going to set up again. It's going to go. It's, it's not going to go, I don't think, at the time we need it to go. It still could. It might if you want to hold on to it. But I'm telling you, I don't really actually like the way this looks. The market I don't have a problem with. The market is volatile, and it's just showing that it's volatile. And you had asked me about EXPE last night. Uh, Galahad here. This one uh, isn't going to make it either. We didn't really get to focus on that. But when this, I'll just very, very quickly, when you have limited time left, First of all, this was positive for a short period of time. And when it flipped around and tried to go down again, it looked great. But then when it had the rally and you're running out of time, running out of time, running out of time, running out of time, no, this probably isn't going to work either. So I believe this is going to be a loser. Facebook is up in the air, but probably it's going to be a loser. Those are the options trades. The rest of them, I have no problem with anybody hanging on to. You get plenty of time and all the charts look great. This isn't going to make it in time. CMG has so much time left, that's a different story. This is not going to make it in time. And the market has plenty of time because in two weeks, the market could do a million, a hundred thousand things. So this just didn't go the way I wanted it to fast enough. It's not going to make it in time. It's still lower. Save what money you can. I mean, again, you have the rules that kill them at 50% or you kill it if the trade really isn't, gonna, isn't, isn't working. And I don't think EXP is working now. No. And as far as Facebook goes, I'm telling you, I don't like the way this looks either. It didn't do what I wanted it to do with everything else, and it really should have. And now that the market fell yesterday, even if the market holds today, I, Facebook is not doing what it needs to be doing. So wait, kill it, get out of the money, you can save it, and throw it into the next trade of calling this, because I'll call one, I don't know when. But the market is a different story. And when the market does decide to flip around again, it will go in a big way. I think people shorted the market last night. That's part of the push down. People like to short things at brand new all-time highs, which I don't know why we don't do that, but people do. And you had that at Amazon. You had that in Netflix. You had that in the market and uh, in the queues anyways. And this is crazy town to do that. But we had such a massive sell-off based on news that had no certificates whatsoever at all that it was profit taken initially was started the selling. But once the selling started to come in and break the bar of yesterday's, the previous day's low, you started having people shorting the market. Um, let's go to this. Oh, here this goes. I'm not doing anything else in this at all. If you really want to do another quick trade, you could put the stop at 42.25. 42.25, $1.25. You want a quick scalp in here? You can take it right now, or don't do it if you don't want to. There, you could do a quick scalp in there. I actually could have done that, but I really think it's fine to stop today. Here it goes. It's going to go to 40. Yeah, there it goes. Wow. Why was it such a good gap? Why was it amazing? Yeah, the news on Tillerson really was, 
You could say, well, that's why the market moved, but no, not really. Um, Gyro, what about the Netflix? KSS? It rated 23 points, that's correct. Um, KSS is not swishing, no. It didn't even gap. Look. Closed, open, dropped. The stock did not gap. We don't do this. Yesterday I said, boy, we really need a good short. We really need to sink our teeth into a short. We really need a great short. We need a good short this week. We need a short we can sink our teeth into. Does anyone listen to anything I say? <laughs> Just wondering. I wished it on us, and we got it. Any questions at all about SIG? Tango Bravo says I do. Uh, Mountain Girl, are you talking about SIG? I could have been more aggressive in this, but honestly, I just want to be careful now to earnings season with everything we do, picks and trades and entries and all of it and exits. It's not earnings season. The market's volatile. That's true. But even though we have a good gap, I mean, you know, I shouldn't have hit the button there and yesterday in the QCon and it just reminded me, eh, it's not earnings season. Where did this go? 4064. Yeah, Mountain Girl's right on SIG. It just was a really nice gap. Um, flew up this morning like a banshee. Forty four eighty six, and then fell like a brick. Anyways, there was something I wanted to go over. Um, wow. The Dow starts falling, the market's not going to hold. Let's look at the banks. There was something I wanted to go over really quick, and then I'm probably just going to let everybody go. 